Hey everybody, it's Jim Kukrell and I want to do a little screencast today and talk about one of my best tips for using AWeber or any email sign-up program that you are using. Could be Constant Contact, could be whatever it is you're using. Uh, this is a great way to get more uh, uh, opt -in, confirmed opt-in. Opt -in. So you log into your account and then you want to go to the page that has your uh, confirmed opt-in. So this, in other words, this is the page that you get when somebody subscribes or somebody puts their email address in and then you get the page, they get the email back that says response required, confirm your request for information or whatever. Now in AWeber you can change it to you know, all of these things. You can change it to confirm your subscription to list name, please verify your description. Uh, you know, I, I haven't found any of the, one of these to work any better than anything else, but um, but what we want to talk about today is the intro. So when, uh, or uh, uh, when somebody gets your email, or when somebody when they get the email and it says we were we received your request for information from the Jim's second test list group. Before we begin sending you the information, we want to be certain we have your permission. So here's what I recommend to do, and I got this tip from my friend Sean Collins, who writes a great blog at AffiliateTip.com, who's also the owner of the Affiliate Summit event. And here's what Sean told me to do, and it works great. We want to personalize this up a little bit more. So we'll say hi, and then we're going to insert uh, a name. So hi name, because they would have put their name in, and said, is that your real name? Well, that's what you entered, or wait, we'll say that's what you put in when you signed up. Let me make sure we get the spacing right. When you signed up, so that's what we're going to call you. So the reason you do that is because sometimes people put in like their full name or they put, you know, some other weird thing in there. And um, so when they get the confirmation email, it says, hi, test email to and you know then it's kind of informal and it, they, they can re they see that it's a um, an automated response so when you do it this way it's like almost like somebody coming back and saying hey you know is this your real name well if that's not you that's what you put in when you signed up so that's what we're gonna call you from now on and it sets the up expectation that for the rest of the time you ever email them with a personalization that you're gonna call them that and you know that's that's good. So they so they don't get an email from you six months down the line and go, why is this guy still calling me, Jim's test email too or whatever. Then you can go change. We received your request for information on the uh, Jim's second test list group. Uh, we need you to confirm because you can spell because we don't want to send you anything you didn't ask for and then I get rid of this stuff that's a nice little uh, welcome mail so hi name is that your real name well is that's what you signed up with when that's what you put in when you signed up so that's what we're going to call you we received your request for information from the and then you should change this list name to, because in AWeber it's kind of you know it's just it's a it's a, just a couple uh, words together so just change it to Jim's test list you know get out get the word group out of there and then we'll say now we need you to confirm because we don't want to send you anything you didn't ask for that's a nice little uh, message and then you know you don't have to change any of this confirm stuff. And then if you want to add a custom close, closing, you should. You should say, sincerely, Jim Kukrell, the bizwebcoach.com. And then save your confirmed message, message and it'll save that entire thing. Uh, another great tip that I'll talk about some other time is this confirmation success page, which is essentially the page they get after they click on the link above. So when they click on this and they're double opt-in confirmed, you can send them to another page and it's a great page to do upsells. Great, great page to do upsells on other products or affiliate links and things like that. But we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope uh, it, it gets you some more confirms on your signups. Take care.